Man finds abandoned Nazi relics in a hidden bunker in Germany. It's amazing how many important historical relics are still, to this day, buried underground. Major events of the past have left so many artifacts just waiting to be discovered. If you look in the right places, you can find troves of historical treasures. And that's exactly what a YouTube user named WW2 History Hunter did. He came upon what seemed like an abandoned bunker in an undisclosed location in Germany. As he began to investigate further, he realized that there was much more to this bunker and its contents than he first thought, and he filmed the whole thing for viewers to enjoy. It's fascinating to think about all the lost treasures from history that are still lying undisturbed underground. For YouTube user WW2 History Hunter, locating these artifacts is a way of life. Back in 2015, he uploaded an extremely popular video to his page where he brought viewers on a tour of an abandoned bunker he came across in Germany. The bunker was found as he was venturing through the woods in an undisclosed location. He thought he saw something large protruding out of a pile of leaves not too off from where he was walking and it piqued his interest. As he got closer, he realized that there was, in fact, something large buried underneath the vegetation. Although he couldn't make out what it was, he immediately got excited by the potential possibilities. He soon realized that what he was looking at was some sort of bunker, probably used during one of the world wars. The only opening to it was a small cement ventilation shaft that was covered in undergrowth. He knew he needed to find out what, if anything, was inside. The front of the bunker was completely sealed off from the outside world by hundreds of large stones stacked together tightly. Whoever built this intended to keep themselves very safe from their enemy. This was the beginning of what he discovered that day. While investigating the surrounding area, WW2 History Hunter found a number of live rounds from machine guns. This was a huge find indeed. It meant this bunker was definitely used during times of war. Not far from the ventilation shaft, he also found a few large crates that were filled to the brim with even more ammunition, as well as a few tubes of vintage German toothpaste. This bunker clearly belonged to German soldiers. In order to start his exploration, he took a handheld camera that he owned and lowered it slowly down into the top of the ventilation shaft. He hoped that he'd discover something that would indicate there was even more to be found. The camera showed an empty room, but there was a mysterious brick wall at one end that he wanted to further explore. He thought that maybe if he was able to break down the wall, he'd find some hidden secrets. Instead of dismantling the entire wall, he was going to first try to drill a small hole in the concrete and insert a tiny camera through the gap to see what was on the other side. He was able to get the camera through, but unfortunately, there wasn't enough light to see anything. He wasn't about to give up hope yet. He had two flashlights on hand, and he figured if he tied them together and lowered them down on a rope, he'd have enough light to see exactly what the bunker contained. He didn't have any extraordinary amount of illumination to work with, but from what he could tell, there were several large structures and some possible equipment on the other side of the brick wall. He just had to find out what they were. He returned the next day to the bunker, determined to break down the brick wall once and for all. Today is the last stand, he told the camera. I'm back at the stubborn bunker. I'm going to at last attempt to get in, and let's find out what's in there. He brought with him an electric drill and special drill bit designed to tackle concrete. He exhausted two entire batteries and still could not demolish the wall. But the next day, his daughter joined him for the exploration, and she had with her a homemade lance that he hoped would be the solution to their problem. Using the beams from the flashlights, WW2 History Hunter's daughter crawled down into the bunker and slowly made her way towards the brick wall with the lance in hand. They both knew that if it didn't work, they may very well just have to abandon the project altogether. Once his daughter got to the wall, she began to smash away with it with all her strength. Little by little, the brick started to come apart. It took what seemed like hours, but eventually the wall was destroyed and the treasures on the other side were within reach. As they explored the bunker, they came upon a rusted metal door, which luckily wasn't bolted shut. Inside of it, they found a plethora of amazing World War II artifacts that were decades old. Many of them were still in great condition, too. There were so many incredible relics that they uncovered that day. The first things they found were a number of buttons and medals with Nazi insignia that belonged to German soldiers' uniforms. The man and his daughter also found plenty more live ammunition. Whoever used this bunker 
was more than ready to protect themselves from any intruding enemy. They even found a cap to a grenade. It's hard not to be blown away by the duo's findings. The most substantial relics they found, however, included a porcelain cup marked Made in Poland and several broken porcelain items with swastikas printed on them. WW2 History Hunter could not have been more thrilled by the outcome. He and his daughter had successfully solved the mystery of the German bunker once and for all. What an incredible discovery. WW2 History Hunter's bunker video was viewed over 3 million times within the next 18 months. Who knows what other mysteries he'll solve in the years to come? Share this amazing discovery with your friends below.